Hey everyone, welcome back. I, it's Infinite Potatoes back here with another Battlefront 2 Blaster Guide. Today we are going to be diving into the Blurg 1120 Blaster Pistol for the Officer class. I'll be going over its different weapon attachments and how they affect the blaster, all the statistics we know about it, and tactics and tips to help you become the best with this blaster. In the description, I'll have timestamps so you can easily find your way through this video. But I suggest staying for the whole video because you might learn something new. But remember, anything I say in this video can be changed at any time. One quick fact before we get into the meat of this. Did you know this blaster is used by Hera from Star the Star Wars Rebel TV series? I find it pretty cool that they're taking blasters from the TV shows as well. Anyways, let's get into it. The Blurg is the third blaster you can unlock for the Officer class. To unlock, you have to defeat 150 enemies with the Officer class. You can use any weapons, any blasters, anything you need as long as you do it with the Officer class. The Blurg is one of the few blasters in Battlefront 2 that burst fire. Burst firing is when you press the trigger and the blaster shoots out multiple blaster bolts at once. The A280 has a similar mechanism. You can check out my video on that by pressing the info tab on the top right corner right now. But back to the Blurg. The base version of the Blurg shoots a two shot burst, which, we, which can be modified through modifications. And we'll talk about those later. With most bursting blasters, you'll have to learn how to use them efficiently. They can be very good if you know how to use them, and very bad if you don't. Here's why. When firing, you need to make sure that the first or second burst actually hits the enemy, because if you don't, then your whole plan is messed up. You'll start shooting and the enemy will move easily in between your bursts. That's why it's important to land that first or second burst. This Blurg, also like the A280, has a fixed burst. What that means is that you can't speed up how fast you burst your blaster. So this really does remind me of the SC-14C from the first game, but I'd have to say that this is much more advanced due to its modifications. Speaking of modifications, let's talk about those. The Blurg 1120 has three blaster modifications, and the thing about these mods is that they actually affect the blaster's recoil, damage, and firing pattern. Which is interesting, because normally they don't give good blasters not so good modifications such as Ion Shot. Anyways, let's get into the first mod. The first modification that you can unlock for the Blurk is the Reduced Recoil modification. In order to unlock this mod, you need to defeat 50 enemies with the Blurk. Now you might have guessed it just from the title, this mod gives you less recoil. Just so you know, all the gameplay I'll be having in the background besides the tests have this mod equipped. At first, the Blurg has a bit of recoil that you'll have to deal with, but with this mod, there is almost no recoil at all after. I remember saying this in my S5 Blaster Pistol Guide, once you use this mod, you'll never take it off. It's that good. And it's true. It helps so much when it comes to you needing a reliable blaster. That's what you're gonna need for tough situations. I'll have some tests running in the background to show the difference between the recoil mod on and off and you'll be able to see how big that difference is. It might be the easiest modification to get, but that doesn't mean it's the worst. Instead, it's essential. In fact, it's probably the opposite way around. One thing I was just thinking about is why did the devs make the hardest blaster modification for most blasters in the game be Ion Shot? I mean, it's 250 kills just to unlock a mod that mo people don't use. I don't know about you, but that seems a bit odd. Let's get back on track with this blaster's mods. The second modification you can unlock is the improved burst mod. To unlock this mod, you have to defeat 150 enemies with the Blurg, which will be a lot easier if you have the reduced recoil mod activated on your blaster. But anyways, back to the improved burst mod. What this mod does is it changes the firing pattern of your blaster from a 2 shot burst fire to a 4 shot burst. Which if you played the first Battlefront, this will hit home to you if you were an SC-14C user such as I was. In that game, it would shoot 5 shots off per burst. This blaster becomes an absolute powerhouse if you equip this mod. 4 shots coming out just at the top of your trigger once is amazing and can really pack a punch. 
With this mod activated, yes, it is a lot harder to miss enemies because of all the shots that are coming out at once. If you happen to pair this along with the reduced recoil mod, I think you got yourself one of the best blasters in Battlefront 2. But of course, you'll have to see if it suits your playstyle well. One trend that you'll notice with these mods is that I love all of them. I'm glad that the devs put such good mods for this blaster. Maybe it's a bit too good, I don't know. Maybe they could replace the final mod with Ion Shot if anything, but I'd highly doubt they'd do that since they have already created the gun like this. Now let's move on to the final modification you can unlock for the Blurg 1120. The last mod that you can unlock for the Blurg is the Explosive Shot mod, which was a complete split of the community from the last game, but I believe they perfected the balance of it in this game. From what I know is that this is one of two blasters that can ha actually have the Explosive Shot modification added to them. To unlock this mod you have to defeat 250 enemies with the Blurg. What this does, when activated, it interchanges the blaster bolts from regular blaster bolts to explosive blaster bolts. So every time you shoot, it kind of looks like it blows up on impact of either the enemy or the surroundings. What happens is it makes it a lot easier to hit targets because the blaster bolts have a bigger hit radius. Oh, and it does more damage. This mod can be paired up very easily with all the other mods that you can equip with this blaster. Reduced recoil and the explosive shot work well, and the improved burst and explosive shot work good as well. But watch out, with the explosive shot added, it does make your blaster overheat faster. Personally, I don't have this mod actually equipped, as I don't prefer having such low shots to overheat ratio. But then again, it's just me. Now let's move on to the tactics, tips, and tricks for the Blurg 1120. The Blurg is a close to medium range combat blaster pistol with a very versatile capability. And with the different modifications that I mentioned earlier, it can become almost anything you need it to be. I mean, I don't think it'll outgun the NT242, but that's besides the point. The two modifications I almost always have equipped on my blaster is the reduced recoil mod and the improved burst mod. Personally, I like these the most because it makes your blaster more reliable. A stable blaster when it comes to recoil, and it packs an extreme punch in close quarters. Personally, this is the perfect combination for me. Another reason why is that I don't really ha like having to think about overheating my blaster or adjusting my aim for recoil. In gunfights, this is absolutely essential to me, at least to me, to not have to think about your blaster while you're trying to dodge enemy fire. The Blurg is extremely reliable, as I've mentioned before, and that's why I like it. I know that I can defeat an enemy assault class with ease, and I can even take out heavies if I have to. If you didn't know, I'm a super aggressive player that always likes to be in the grit of all the action. And if this blaster pistol can keep me alive, well I think it'll work well for you as well. This is one of the few officer pistols that can keep up with the heavies and assaults, and I like that. I'm glad that there's an officer pistol that suits me well, and I hope you find your perfect blaster for every class you use. If you need help finding which one is best for you, feel free to check out my other blaster guides by pressing the, the info tab in the right corner. Top right corner of course. If you have any tips for the Blurg 1120, feel free to drop them in the comments section to help each other out. If this video helped you in any ways, please drop a like as it helps support the channel and it helps for new people to see these videos. Speaking of new people, if this is your first video that you're watching on my channel, welcome! I'm glad you're here. If you subscribe, you can get notification for all my upcoming videos. Anyways, that's a wrap from me. I'm Infinite Potatoes, and I'll see you on the battlefront.